Where's that one? Man, today's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. This is beautiful. This is by Carmen in Mexico. Those boats over there, they're going to Casamel. You go to the pier, you buy a ticket if you like. The water so nice and beautiful. The sand is white. Well, that's why this could be. Um, they do really take care of their, uh, their beaches. Very pristine, as you can see the people working on them. Very, it gets very crowded on the weekend. This place is so crowded on the weekend, it's crazy. Extremely crowded. Um, I'd rather have it like this, nice and calm and relaxed. Nobody's here to bother you. Everything is beautiful and nice. So let me let you know what I think of Casamel, no, what I think of Black Carmen so far. Um, I'm pleasantly pleased. There's a lot of clubs, a lot of things to do, a lot of eatery. Um, it's an upscale vacation spot, I give them that much. It's not like the rest of the place you've been to. It's very upscale. They really take care, a lot of care of it. Um, there's a lot of hotels, as you can see, it's a lot of hotels there. Um, there is a lot of partying. I'm not gonna lie to you, there's a ton of partying here. I mean, it seems like they cater to the family, visitors, and people from other states. But for the most part, they have something for everybody. Fifth Avenue is the main avenue. Fifth Avenue probably is a good 10 to 15 miles. Uh, there's a lot of shops there, a lot of um, upscale shops. You have Lido's, you have haagen you have a lot of Mexican restaurants, you have a lot of American restaurants. So, there's a nice chance that if you're looking for any kind of food, you're gonna find it. Um, seems like there's a resort area also. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of foreigners here. They seem to be doing a good time um, catering to foreigners. Uh, there's a lot of beefed up security here. The cops are friendly, nice, but at the same time, they're watching for anything that might happen. So it's pretty cool. Um, just understand it. That is a beach community. That'd be nice. Uh, the sun is beating. The sun is very, very hot. Um, and it's a regular day. Like I said, it's a beautiful day. Uh, people are very friendly, uh, very understanding. Most places speak dual Spanish and English, so you never feel like you're out of place. There's a lot of foreigners, European, Indian, Japanese, Chinese, uh, black. So, it's inclusive, very nice. I haven't gone to all the inclusive hotels, but from what I see, it's a very, very, very nice. Very clean, pristine, always something to do, always doing something. Um, it's a ton of excursion flights, uh, excursions. You can go to uh, Chichen Itza, which is the, um, the ruins. Which is the ruins. You could all go anywhere you want from here. There's also Cancun, it's an hour away, if you like. I um, mean, you can party in Cancun or anywhere else you like. There's the women's volleyball team right now playing. So, there's a little bit of everything here, if anybody wants it, so. You could always see somebody cleaning. And I think that's what uh, I like most about this place. You could always find somebody cleaning. Um, it is extremely hot in here, extremely, extremely hot. Um, it is really hot. Uh, the gets in your face. Damn! Oh Whoa! Oh, right now! Oh, whoa! Did you see that kick? Nice.
Oh, nice. 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 There's always Oh, let me get out your way. So what we're doing is just doing a walking tour of the city, a very small city, and we're walking around. Then you see everything's in the city. Fresh mangoes, uh, fresh coconuts. You want cigars? I got it. Let me show you. Apply the carmine. I don't want to be in your way, so I love the hair. There you go. So this is the sound apply the carmine. And let me go behind you. I don't want to go in. All right, thanks. Yo. Yeah. So that's the sound apply the carmine. You have a ton of hoes here. Are you ready, man? How much is it for here to Kansas man? $25 round trip by turn. And what you do there? Four fifty-five pesos. They both leave in 11 a.m. Okay, it comes back one. Two? Yeah. Leaves 11, comes back at two? 11, 11.30, you come back to whatever time is open time. Okay. Do you oh, have your tickets already? No, I don't. Wait, what was the last, when the last ferry ah, comes the last back? ferry for you come back is 9 p.m. 9 p.m.? 9 p.m. And what could you do uh, in Custom Mail? Because that's what the I'm doing. The best snorkeling area. The color rate is the second place move in the, the world. move out the caption. So let me, what you said? The color rates. Okay. Snorkeling, diving, fishing. Nice. Nice. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So if you ever want to go and get your tickets, you can get it right there. You can walk right here to Custom Up Fast Ferry. Only costs twenty five dollars, four hours, or from eleven o'clock to nine a.m. nine p.m. We're going at eleven o'clock next boat. Like I said, most people speak English, so it's very friendly. Uh, so you can find anything you like here. Of course, the pharmacy sells everything and anything to you. Uh, prescription drugs, they give it to you right over the counter. You know, so if you've been to Spanish countries, you, you know that, that most countries outside the United States give you prescription drugs right over the counter. Of course, you can't bring it back into the country, so you're better off not even doing it. So I just passed by. No gracias. Please, man. But thank you. No gracias, la farmacia. Yeah, they actually advertise the pharmacy. I'm doing well, and yourself? Hey, my brother from another mother. Okay, hey, what's, what's up? up? No, hey. I'm good. Shopping today or something like that? I'm just looking around. Well, can I show you my little shop? Okay, I'll, show, I'll look at your little shop in a second. Let me look around. Um, Everything's closed down there, man. The more shop up at 11. No, that's all right. I'm just walking around. Hey, this is my little junk. Okay. <laughs> Where you from, my man? Oh, well, I'm from everywhere. Right now, I'm taping. Oh, excellent. You look like paparazzi, man. Yeah, paparazzi. There we go. That's my little shop. Yeah, but I'll be back later. I'm just going around. I'm just coming around. 
Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, the salespeople are eager to sell you anything in English, so that's a plus. And it's a nice, cute place to go. I'm walking straight down. Now I'm on, I'm on Fifth Avenue. I just left the ocean, which is only like not even that far away. I'm on Fifth Avenue walking down. You have a lot of vendors. You have a lot of leather outfits here, man. Leather gear. I'm sorry, leather, leather gear. This leather gear will go for a thousand dollars in the states. Look how good and the quality, the handmanship of this quality of that leather. This is pure leather. Look at that. You can even smell the leather from here. Usually one hundred and twenty-five dollars or two hundred dollars, which is really cheap. This one, I think, is like three hundred dollars, which, which, when the states would be over a thousand. It's really good. Really good. I love your leather, man. I love your leather. Make a good deal. I hear you, but right now I'm just looking. I'll be back. I really gotta buy a leather outfit. Cuanto es de aquí? I like that one. Hundred pesos. In in English, cuanto es in dólares? One forty. Very nice. I love the. I love. But look what they put out here: anabolic steroids, and they got Phil Heath. <laughs> That's crazy. So. Yeah, this is a cute neighborhood you can walk through. This is called Fifth Avenue. Everything is sold here. For the most part, you have vendors, a ton of vendors, a ton of leather outfits. You have a lot of clothing here. You can go this way. And you can see a lot of leather. But in a minute, we'll be passing 7-Eleven. And after that, it gets more like trendy and really nice. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. <laughs> He's calling me Bob Marley. Okay. I guess with the dress, I'm Bob Marley. Bob Marley. ¿Qué pasa aquí? ¿Qué? Tequila, mi amigo. Pásame. No, yo estoy tomando aquí. Tengo mi tequila aquí. ¿Qué pasó? Yo estoy bien, yo estoy bien. Yo estoy, mira, mira, lo estoy, lo estoy tomando aquí. Eso, no, yo tomo bastante agua, papi. Bastante agua. Fidel, ahora me está hablando de Fidel. What are you guys looking at? Okay. Hey, check this out. Bam! Man, this sun is beating on me. It is, I gotta be like 98 degrees out here. It is hot. Now this is something you got to understand exactly where it is. And your Fifth Avenue at the beginning, this is the bus stop. When you get, and this is a beautiful thing. No way a la puerta, pero gracias. Now when you come in from the airport and you're gonna get this bus, it leads you right here in um, Playa de Carmen. This is the bus right here. And it's a really, really good bus. This is the bus station right apply the academy look at it right there bam it costs 14 dollars and it takes 45 minutes from here to the airport aldo right here and this where you buy your tickets right here you buy your tickets right here and it says right here 225 pesos right there it is by the academy to the airport it's 225 pesos it's around 13 dollars then when you get off the air, the, uh, if you take the bus, which is the best thing for you to do, uh, because the taxi is going to cost you around $50 to $75, this only costs you $13. When you get out there, you're right here at Fifth Avenue, or Quinta. And this is where everything starts. 7-Eleven is 24-7. Um, and everything's on this block. All the partying, the hanging out, the chilling. Uh, there's a bank here, Banco. Mind you, when you get on the bank, they're going to charge you $8 to $18 for a transfer, which makes no sense. Uh, it used to be 5%, but now they charge like $18 just to get, take money from the bank. So if you do want to, I would tell you, come in with your money from the states because they do take your money. They, everybody, everywhere that you work, they'll, allow, they'll, they'll give you the rate and you pay in dollars. So you really don't have to change the money at all. I would come with like a thousand. No, gracias. I would come with like, I would come with like a thousand dollars and actually use it. No, gracias. Estoy bien, estoy bien. So like I was saying, I will come in with maybe $500 to 1000 and you don't have to, you don't have to um, switch it over because they'll actually give you the conversion. So something costs 2,500 pesos, which is around $13. You give them $13 and that's it. They do take dollars here, which is really good. They actually take dollars here. So there's no need to. So come with the money. Don't use the ATM. I usually tell people use the ATM, but here I will tell you not. Uh, just bring the money. Como esta, papa? Bien, bien, bro. Okay. 
So now what I did when I came this, I came right here and I got a hostel. My hostel costs $13 a day. I, I got it for four days because I've never been to Playa Carmen. So I got it for $14. I'm going to show you where it is. It's called Selena. Um, and then when I got used to the place and I wanted more privacy, I moved, <clears throat> I moved over. It was $37 a night, which is pretty good. Um, instead of spending a lot of money in a place I did not know, because this is my first time coming here, that's the ocean right there. And this is where we're going. I'm going to show you where I was staying at. Well, I'm still staying there. Technically, I'm still staying there. Because I paid for four days, and I think it was $13, $14. You go to Hostel World. If you go on the computer and you go in Hostel World, and you put um, by the Carmen, you will get this. This is $13 for a day. You could get a room, which is $125, which makes no sense to me. Why well, pay $125 a day? I'm on my first time here to play Carmen. I don't know where anything's at. I know that when you do stay at a Selena or a hostel, they have a lot of people that are friendly, knowledgeable, and you can do a lot of tours from there. So that's what I did. So I'm going to show you exactly where I stayed at. Um, and I paid $13 a day for four days, five days, five days. So this is Selena. Selena is very nice. Uh, people speak Spanish and English, very accommodating. Um, and this street is banging on the other side, but this is Selena right here. Boop. Hola, señora, ¿cómo está? Está caliente afuera. Uh, mira cómo yo estoy. Yo estoy sudando con un perro caliente. Oh, está caliente afuera. Voy a tomar un poquito de agua. ¿Cómo está? Uh, mira cómo estoy. Uh, right here. So this is Selena. This is the host when you come to Selena, right here. You come in. I'm drinking some water real quick, and then I'm going outside. I'm going to show you Selena real quick. Let me drink my water. This is water. Ooh. Mm. Gracias. Now they had jazz here the other day. I did a show from here. They had jazz and a lot of things. Usually they have theme parties and a whole bunch of stuff. That's why I love coming to hostel when I don't know a country and I've never been to a country. I usually go to hostel because it's a little more inviting. This is the restaurant stash um, bar. You can come in here and enjoy yourself. Very good. Hello, como esta? Hable inglés o español? English. English? Where are you from? Canada. Okay, I thought you were from the United States. I'm sorry. Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from the States. Oh. Well, uh, man, I'm a YouTuber, so I'm YouTubing. Oh, nice. So I don't want to put all my business out there. I just want to say hello. Where are you guys from? Canada. You from Canada too? So uh, let me ask you a question. How do you like it so far here? Love it. You love it? Yeah. You guys come here often? It's first time. Me I too. Me, first time. me too. And that's what I'm telling my audience that um, when you come here the first time, you want to go to a hostel. Make sure you pay as least as possible because then you want to get knowledgeable around where everything's at. Yeah. Get to know the people. Now that I got the hostel, I went across the street and I got an actual room for $37, nice. which is cheaper. Yeah. But then I got my own bathroom. I don't have to hear people snoring or whatnot. Have privacy, yeah. And then I know where everything's at. But I have two of them. I got this one and the one across the street. Yeah, so that's the way you just run it. But like I said, you need a lot of interesting people in place like that. I'm gonna continue. Hey, it's been nice, guys. Yeah, so you got people that are friendly. Uh, you really make a lot of friends. And it's inviting if you come to the city. Um, this one I did more on my tours and whatnot. I still, like I said, I'm still registered here. Only cost $13, so I didn't care. Um, they got Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, breakfast. So this right here. They have a pool, you know, bean bags. So as we continue, they have breakfast. Come on, señor. They have breakfast, and then um, Mexican people actually use the hostel too. Um, in other countries, you can't use the hostel if you're from that country, but here you can. So um, I'll do another five minutes and then I shut it down. But I just want to show you guys how easy this process could be or is. Um, I met a lot of people here. A lot of people here uh, when I go to the hostel. So. This is the hostel, like I said, I'm gonna show you my hostel that I'm staying in now. Um, well, I'm not staying at a hostel, I'm sorry. I'm gonna show you my hotel. I'm gonna show you the hotel I'm staying in now. So, now this is, like you saw, we just got out of, like you said, we just got out of the um, bus station. You walk not even two, um, not even like half of a block, and boom, yeah, Selena Hostel. So 
So now I got a hotel for one little more privacy, add a little more to myself. Oh, I love this song. You come out here, this is my hotel. The hotel costs, what, $37? These people are here. They look like most, hey, como esta señora, como se siente? So these people seem more local, more down to earth. Oh, I think they're waiting to leave. So this is my hotel that I'm using now. Gracias. So now right here, this is my hotel. This is it right here. You have a living room. You have a bathroom. You have a bathroom. Everything you need. Now I have been using. And then you have bedroom. TV, of course, that I have on. The AC I have on. Let me turn on the AC again. The AC is on. So when I come, oops. The AC is on. Here's my stuff. It's a mess. But that's all right. I'm going back out. So like I said, I paid $37 a day for this, um, which is really good. Like I said, when you don't know where you're at, I'd rather explore this way until you have a bearing. Like if I was in Cartagena, I know where I'm at, I would probably rent a house. If I was in, in Thailand and other places, I know where I'm at. But since I've never been here before, I have to explore and find out where I want to go. Now there are some places I would go now that I know now that I know a little bit more about Playa de Carmen, I will go in some places. I most likely will stay closer to the water. I like New Jersey, me gusta eso, New York. So, as you can see, there's a lot of transit people coming in and out all the time. Um, the ocean is right there. You can see the ocean right there. I'm only, I mean, it's not even 50 steps from here to the ocean. That's how cheap it is. $14 and $37 a day. Really economical. Uh, there's a lot of partying out here. A lot of hanging out. At night it goes crazy. But right now, because everybody's coming in and out, it's pretty cool. Ocean is right there. This is Quinta. And there's a lot of restaurants. A lot of restaurants. And it seems like everybody wants to stamp, stamp their, their foot in their own restaurants, so all the restaurants are different. Some restaurants have uh, cenotes in them, which is wild when you go in there. It seems like it's, it, there is no cenotes here, but there are some restaurants that have underwater um, caves. Like the head, dude. Homeboy had braids on. Hola, señora. Okay, so. Oh, I left my drink at home. Man. So now, this right here goes on for at least 15 to 20 miles. This is a strip that goes on for a long, long time. So basically, and it changes. Like right here, it goes good, but there's gonna feel like you're Fifth Avenue. The same street, probably if you go four blocks up, it's gonna feel like you're Fifth Avenue. It's a lot of malls, and that's where all the clubs are at. The clubs are in 12th Street. Right now, we're like in Fifth Street. Uh, this is La Quinta, which is Fifth Avenue, but then it goes two, four, six, eight. It goes in twos, the streets. So this is an avenue, Fifth Avenue, and this right here is the street. So, oh, Cuatro Norte, so this is four. So this is four, see? So all the clubs are on 12th Street, which like, we're 8th Street away. And you got Hagen Dots right there. You have some good stores, and then you're gonna get some more fancy stores as we go in, and it's gonna get fancier, fancier, and then it's gonna start looking more bohemic, which is weird. This street takes a lot of different shapes, and it takes a lot of different moods to it, too. Uh, I'm not gonna walk the whole place, it's like 20 miles. I am gonna do another three minutes and I'm gonna shut it down. But I just wanted you to see the, the street. 
walking la quinta. You know, that's what we're doing, walking la quinta. Ta, 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 ta. Oh, gracias. Ay, ¿cómo está? ¿Habla inglés? ¿Habla español? You know, the weird thing is, I went to eat at this taco place yesterday, and I was talking to the guy, and he was Puerto Rican, and he didn't speak no English, and I was just assuming that most people came here, like, because Puerto Rico is part of the United States, I just assumed that Puerto Rican spoke English, and he was like, nah, I don't speak no English. I came with all of my friends. We came eight deep, like eight of our friends came here. We were having a great time because we usually come out here to enjoy ourselves. And I was like, you come from Puerto Rico here? He goes, yeah, this is cheap. Puerto Rico is expensive. I said, wow, plus the nightlife is really, really crazy. I mean, at night, all of these buildings on the top become nightclubs and they have a lot of rooftop parties, a lot of them. In the night, this place comes alive. It just gets crazy. But right now it's nice and calm. It's more for a tourist, but Let's say, and then it parties all the way from like 11 to like 3, 4 in the morning. Um, but more so around 12. They're building a hotel right there. <clears throat> so, yeah, you do see a lot of Europeans here too. I guess it's their vacation place. Now, the beautiful thing about this thing, this is called La Quinta, but if you go the next block over, it gets cheaper. Now, everything here is gonna be extremely expensive as far as Mexican prices are concerned. For us, it'll be cheap, but for Mexican prices, it'll be expensive. But the further you get away from La Quinta, the further you go up, the place gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper to the point that you get to um, uh, Mexican prices. So, remember, anything in La Quinta is gonna be very expensive. If you don't believe me, watch this. Look at this little thing right here. Ice cream costs $4 for scoop. Here, look at it right there. Four American dollar, four American dollar for one scoop of ice cream, right? Six for two scoops, which is crazy. Then they have, that's American prices, but they have one scoop of ice cream costs $4, two scoops so cost $6. The further you go walk away from here, uh, this is masseuse, this is massages places, come with that. This is the massages places that right there, two massages for $50. But the further, like I was saying, the further you get away from La Quinta, the cheaper it becomes. That ice cream will probably cost you like 50 cents if you go away from La Quinta. La Quinta is very expensive, but it's geared towards foreigners. So, and they, they really keep it real clean, as you can see, you don't see no garbage. You don't see no craziness. It's very well kept. Look at that. Fish massages. Look at this rooftop party, that's what I'm talking about. Rooftop parties at night. From this point on, it gets real crazy. Everybody start partying. <clears throat> Tupac in the house, look at Tupac right there. No, gracias, no gracias. No gracias, por gracias. So if you're Aldo's, another ice cream place, Aldo's. Now there is a lot of construction going on around here, but that's common because they're building up the place. Um, COVID took a, ni a nice hit out of this place and they took the time to make it better. So you're gonna see a lot of construction, but they try to make up for it by putting all these beautiful things up here. But if you look up, they're doing a lot of construction also. Now, this is a club at night, which is really good. 
course, the beach is always there. Now, this is one of the nicest clubs there is. Uh, Cantina. This one of the nicest clubs. Which is weird. When you come down here, there's actually a, a monitor that sh shows you the club upstairs on the last floor. Which is really cool. So, from this point on, it's going to seem a little more trendier. More like Fifth Avenue, if you notice. The, um, the elegance or the upscale started to show now. If you notice, most of the stores are more upscale. Look, all the stores are more upscale. The restaurants are more upscale. Everything is a little more upscale now. So from this point on, everything's gonna be a little more upscale. Uh, so it's weird the way they have it. They have it in sections. So everything's more upscale at this point. You know, you have your Macy's, you have your coach bags, you like your Victoria's Secrets. You have all those high-end stores on this side now, which is like, I think it's like on 12th Street. And then right around 18th Street, it start getting bohemic. And then you see the, the beach becomes a little crystal clear. The water becomes crystal clear and becomes really nice. See Ray-Ban, Oakley's, Ray-Ban. So now you see how the stores are becoming more high end. Beaches, Sonora, Prime. All of these are clubs at night also, you know. Amorino, which is gelato, fine gelato place. Very expensive here. And this is the mall. They have a beautiful mall. Now this is actually the clubs. All the clubs are here at night. This is where all the clubs are at. I think this is 10th Street, 12th Street. It is Calle, Calle right there, 12th Street. This is where the Mexican sign is at. And this is where the mall is at. If you see right there, there's the mall, IN Mall. So this is IN Mall. What's up, man? This is IN Mall. Now it's gonna start becoming more bohemic. Uh, this next block is gonna start changing and the atmosphere is gonna change to bohemic. Hold up, man. Hey, it's 33 minutes. Hey, guys, it's been great. This bread jar. Hey, um, I hope you enjoyed this tour. This is a walking tour of the city. This goes on for miles and miles and miles. There's another 15 to 20 miles left in this city and it's beautiful. If you've ever been out here, you'll understand what I'm talking about. There's a lot of city to look at. So I'm gonna to go to the next block and I'm gonna shut it down. But before, if you ever thought of uh, coming to a vacation, I would let you know that yes, there is place to party here. And it is a couples. It, this, is, this is somewhere you wanna go for couples. Oh, this place right here, that's a cenote at the end. If you make a turn, that's a cenote. That's a cenote is an underground cave, which is weird because you wouldn't look how the place looks, but they have an underground cave of water in it downstairs, which is out of this world. Um, so, this is a little things you can find. So yeah, so if you ever thought of coming out here, you come out single, you come with a friend. It is a place that you can bring anybody. There's a lot of security here at night. The security presence is very felt, even in the morning. There's a lot, women walk by themselves a lot here. So there is a safety presence here. Oh, look at the tigers here, look at the tiger. They have tiger cubs here, bugged out. I've never seen it, they have actually, and they got tiger cubs here. Can you believe that? They got tigers and leopard. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. An actual tiger. A baby tiger. I'm telling you, this place is crazy. You have your Sephora, you have a lot of IN places. You have everything here. You just saw a live tiger looking at people, a cub tiger. It's crazy, crazy. I was gonna go and get a picture with a tiger cub, but I was in Thailand and I did the same thing there. So I'm like, look, I already did that, done that. Beautiful tiger cubs, I really enjoy. But I think that was enough of that. Como esta señora? So this is another one that has a beautiful cenote. It's another one, right here. Let's go and check this one out. Hey, como esta señor caballero? Nada quiero ver a So this is a regular restaurant, but it has a cenote underneath. Beautiful cenote. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't believe that it was like this until you came in. Como esta? Now look at how it changes and it turns more into a natural preserve. It is crazy. If you go on this side, mm. if you go on this, if you go, oh, here it goes. This is still a restaurant. 
It's up being a cenote. Man, this place has so many, it has a waterfall underneath. This goes a couple of levels down. Um, look at the waterfall, natural waterfall right there. This is a restaurant in the middle of the place. Man, you have a lot of places like this here that turn into a, a underwater cave with waterfalls and everything else, but you gotta go deep into it. And this keeps on going. Keeps on going all the way down. Uh, you have to hit that corner. I think it's right here, right? Yeah, and now we gotta go down this little corner here. But man, look, I think that's where I'm, should I end it? Look at the water, look at the, whoo, whoo, that scared me. Look at the water all the way down there. Man, this place is so crazy. This is a regular rest, you wouldn't believe this place has so much stuff. This case, if you go down this, right down here, there's another level. That's about it, man, I already got spooked off that. Um, you can go that way, end up going somewhere else. But um, yeah, this is a restaurant, could you believe that? It looked like a regular restaurant, it turns into a cenote, which is an underwater cave with water in it. Wow, man, this place is wild. Waterfall. Ooh, gracias, señor. Hello. Yeah, there's a lot of places like this that you go in, think it's a regular restaurant, boom, underwater cave. Underwater. Where does this water come from? I have no clue. So we're back in the street. Now, if you looked at the restaurant from here, it doesn't look like it, right? It's called Aldo's. It doesn't look like it. Aldia. It doesn't look like it, but it goes right into a cenote. Hey, ¿cómo están? No, yo estoy bien, gracias. Ya comí bastante. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto también, señor. Oh, that's a good music. So now, from this point on, it's gonna become a little more bohemic. And then when you hit that corner, there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, clubs and everything on the other side and it goes on for a couple more miles. It is crazy how long this place is. You'll be walking here forever. We got another 15, 20 miles. I've just, look. Now there's also a uh, 4th Street, 6th Street, 8th Street and so on and so forth going that way. But man, that's crazy. I ate at this place yesterday. I was with the swarma, was really, really good yesterday. This black kebab shurma gyro and taco, it's closed right now, was really, really good. Now, um, I'll go up to the next block and then I'll shut it. Look at that, it keeps going down that way to the beach. This is supposed to be only a 10 minute film, me walking down the street. They got regular cigar bar, cigars, that do handheld. Usted lo hace aquí, señor? Oh. So they actually make the, the cigars right here. He's doing it right as we speak. He'll do the cigars. I will keep on walking, but he'll roll them and do everything here. Oh, como esta, señor? They have Cuban places here too that you can get Cuban cigars. I don't smoke, so it's not a big thing for me. But I know a lot of people do love their cigars and they got authentic Cuban cigars here and they got hand rolled cigars that taste really great from what I've heard. So. Hello. Hey Spidey. Hey. Where's your spider senses, man? I mean you. Oh, gracias. Spider senses. No, no, todavía gracias. No necesito una foto. American Urban Outfitters, that's another mall. Iron Mall, love, very nice. It's still here. Minnesota. Minnesota? Okay. What about you, any shopping? No, nah, I'm good, thank you, though. You better, I guess you like silver, half price anything you want. Oh, you too good, ¿cómo está, Pablo? ¿Cómo estás? Ayer te vi que encontraste a tu amiga. Oh, yo le di también. Oye, no vayas a hacer algo, no vayas a hacer algo. No, 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 no,
So yeah, this is the main street that turns it after this becomes Bohemic. Now this is a wraparound. Um, it goes a different couple of different ways. The water is clearer from this point on also. Hey, come on, come on. Yeah, look. So as you can see, now it's going to, now everything turns bohemic. It was high end just now. Now watch how the whole neighborhood and the flow of it changes. Now there's a lot of clubs here. There's a club up here, Bar Loco. A lot of clubs out here at the bar and up at the rooftop. A lot of bars and a lot of clubs going on. At night this goes crazy. So, so now this starts again to be a little more bohemic, more a little class, a little more like, um, I, I hear Sasua, really. That's what I would say it would be. A lot more souvenir shops. A lot of more local selling. The bilingual. You won't see that. You will see some, but you won't see a lot of high-end shops. Um, it's going to be more locals. More middle of the road. Duty-free. Pharmacy. And look at this pharmacy. This is the wildest thing I've ever seen. It says Arbutoral, Cialysis, Latif, Provigil, Flexoril, Viagra, Cortisone, Prolosex, Tylenol, Painkillers, Antibiotics, Sleeping Pills, Antibiotics, Aleve, Tramadol. Tramadol is illegal in the United States, getting over the counter. All these things that are illegal over the counter, they give it to you over here over the counter. It is wild. Come on down. No, you're doing bien, gracias. Estoy bien, gracias. Señor Frog. Woo! No, you're doing bien, gracias. Ay, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están? No, you, no, gracias. Estaba tomando bastante hoy. Estoy bien. Oh, man, I've been drinking, I've been drinking vodka and uh, juice all day today. So I said, hey, she goes, try tequila because they have a tequila bar there. I said, no, nah, I've been drinking all day. She goes, drink a little bit more. Yeah, here all they do is drink for real. They don't play what they're drinking. They drink hard. So hey guys, this is the end of your uh, journey. We've been doing a walking tour. I fit out La Quinta. I think I've been walking like two, three miles. We started at the beach, walked around, went to the pier, uh, wrapped around, went to the little mall, walked all the way to La Quinta. We went up to the dancing place where people are dancing, uh, the clubs, a lot of clubs. You saw I in restaurants. This is a little bit more. This goes on for miles and miles and miles which is really good, as you saw, it's clean. Um, people are not really evasive or they're, they're not in your face. They, they actually, they, they come in and they ask you for civilian and stuff, but they let you be. Um, it's very calm. At night, this place is rocking. I mean, there's music everywhere. This place is just rocking. Um, in the morning, it's rocking. In the evening, it's okay. This is kind of light. At night, this place is just crazy. A party central, um, a lot of party. So like I said, man, if you want to come out here, you can come as a single, you can come as a double, you can come as friends. There's a lot of things to do out here. So it's just a part. This is, hey, good morning. So they're right there. Huh? Tequila. Yeah, they want to sell me tequila. Everybody sells you tequila here. Everybody wants you to get drunk. It's like tequila central. So you have uh, IN clubs, IN places. Hello, IN places. So. Okay, guys, so I'm shutting it down now. It's been nice, man. Look, man, this is Brian Joe from Brian Joe on the World. Walking in La Quinta, Playa de Carmen, Mexico. If you ever try to come out here, please make it. Enjoy yourself. And that's it. We turn it off, man. Hey, like I said, man, life's too short. If you only read one page, man, you haven't read the book. You've got to enjoy the life, man. Life is too short, you know? All right, peace.